Friends, today let's solve water and a jug problem. So this problem is that we are given two jugs and they have its corresponding capacity. And we have three op operations. One is fill any of the jugs with water. And the, the second one is empty any of the jugs. The third one is we pour, we pour water from one jug into another till the other jug is completely full or the first jug itself is empty. So, and uh, our problem is that uh, can we use these two jugs with these three operation, operations and finally we get this target capacity. So let's see what it, how it works. So for example, here we have two jugs and it's capacity is x and y and uh, z is our target uh, capacity. So for the steps we can fill them until they are full. So in example the green jug and uh, the purple jug are full. Or we can empty them. Then the green and uh, purple jugs are completely empty. Or we can pour water from one to the other. In this example the current state is that the purple one is full. Then we pour it to the yet uh, to the green jug. Then the green jug has the capacity of Y. The purple jug is empty. The Y is the capacity of the purple jug. The green jug has the capacity of X. Here is another example. If the current state is the green jug is full, the purple jug is empty, then we pour the green jug's water to the purple one. Then we can see the purple one is full now, and uh, the green jug should uh, 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 <laughs> should uh, minus the capacity of Y, so it uh, only has X minus Y water left. So what is the next possible state that will be we can either for this green jug then all, uh, both of these two jugs are full or we can empty this green jug, uh, sorry, uh, purple jug. And for the next potential state we can uh, fill water to this green jug, then the green jug is full of water. So if you you can try other possible transitions, you will find on every change is the capacity of x or y. So for this example, for this transition, x will, the green jug will minus x, uh, minus y, the purple jug will plus y. For this transaction, this uh, transition, for this transition, the green jug will incre increment by y. For this transition, the purple jug will decrement by y. So if you find this uh, rule, we will know how to solve it. That means we c we actually have four directions or four uh, possible operations. That is, uh, incre uh, increment the capacity by x, or increment the capacity by y, or we decrement the capacity by x, or decrement the capacity by y. So these four operations or directions are um, have the same weight. We can either do it or do the any of other rest of the three operations. So in that case, how do you solve it? You will think that we actually have the initial state that we have empty jugs. The final state that we should have the Z capacity. And we have four directions, exactly the same as a typical BFS breadth-first search question. So in that case, we can use BFX to solve this question. 
uh, another thing that uh, we also need to remember the visited state. Uh, instead of use an array, we can use a hash set because uh, this number is actually large. So uh, to save the memory, we should uh, use hash set instead, only record the one we used. So then let's write it into code. We can do a quick, ch uh, I will change the name, actually integer x integer y and enter z. Quick check if x plus y is less than z, that means we will never reach z, so we return false. Then we will use uh, dec to represent a queue. The size, uh, it will be array dec. So q will offer 0. And uh, as I said, we need a hash set. We call it a visited hash set. So visited will add 0 false first. And then while q is not empty, we get the current will pull from the q. And we actually have four directions. So let's write here. The four directions uh, will be x minus x, y minus y. So for the directions, the total will be direction plus curve. We should also do some check here. If turtle is less than 0 or turtle is greater than x plus y, we just uh, continue. Otherwise, we check whether we already visited before. So if it doesn't contain this turtle, we will add it to the visited set. And uh, we offer it to the queue. OK, but we haven't checked if cur equal to turtle. Oh, sorry, if cur equal to z, we return true. Or Quickly, if uh, here, if turtle equal to z, we return true. OK, otherwise we return false. OK, as long as we know every transition should uh, just uh, be x or y, we can actually uh, convert this question to this equation. We have to find uh, a and b, which are integers, then ax plus by equal to z. According to this uh, 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 according to this theory, we actually know that uh, mm, it says that let a and b be integers with the greatest common divisor d. Then there exist integers x and y such that ax plus by equal to d. More generally, the integers of the form ax plus by are exactly the multiples of d. So that means we just need to check whether z is the multiples of the great d sensors of the x and y. Because in that case, uh, in this example, the x and y are the capacities of two jacks. Z is our target capacity. We should uh, make it uh, uh, work. So that means a and b should be integer. It uh, converts to this question to we check why, uh, whether z is the multiple of this g, c, d of x and y. So how to get the GCD? Then we should use the Euclidean algorithm. This is, is the pseudocode. So we just need to, if we want to get a GCD of AB, uh, if B equal to 0, this is the best case, we return A. Otherwise, we return GCD B A module B. So let's write it. Actually, it's pretty simple. We just need uh, one uh, function called GCD x, y. 
base case if y equal to 0, return x. Otherwise, return gcd. What's it? It should be y x module, x module y. So we just need to check whether z is a multiple of this gcd. So z module gcd x y equal to 0. Okay, thank you for watching. See you next time.